Good morning. I just wanted to give you a update on a couple of uh, product tests that I'm doing. Uh, this is the Duracell block that is going through a capillary test to see whether or not water will move from the exterior panel through the webs to the interior panel. So we can see there's a uh, pump in the bottom. It's just a pump from a local uh, aquarium shop and it's pumping water up along this outside web. That piece of uh, foam was just to stop the uh, water from spraying over onto the insulation and in fact what I should do is um, do something like that so that it doesn't move by capillary onto the insulation help the insulation dry out as you can see it's the outside uh, panel is completely saturated all the way up to uh, about this point here but the uh, inside web is really dry in fact you can still see the powder on uh, the bottom that uh, came off as I was placing the uh, the block onto those uh, takeout containers. Uh, so it's still really dry on the inside. Uh, we can do uh, a moisture test and see what the web's like. So we're doing uh, moisture content and sticking it in about halfway and we're at uh, 12%. So that's a bit higher than we started, but it's what I would expect because we are now having this in a water bath, so the relative humidity in this area will be higher, and therefore the moisture content will be higher, uh, but that's still well below the 19% danger level. Uh, what I'll do is in, a, in an excerpt at the end of this video, I'll uh, get my uh, meter out to test what the humidity level is in that area. Um, and you can see the outside face is uh, completely saturated. So, and you can see the little dripping that's happening as the uh, the moisture moves through the outside uh, panel and drips back into uh, the tub below. The uh, piece of paper that uh, I stapled to the outside edge is uh, in this area here and it is still uh, bone dry. Uh, you can see it uh, a little bit better there. Okay, uh, now we're going to talk about the testing of the Argard samples. So as mentioned, I thought that the uh, humidity level within the uh, the base would be much higher because we're over a water bath. So we're at 62% uh, humidity, or 60% thereabouts. That explains the higher moisture content within the web connecting the outer and inner panels and it still does not look like any type of capillary action is happening between the outer and inner webs. Uh, the, the material is so free draining and the pore size is such that it doesn't support capillary action which uh, is in agreement with uh, one of the studies that uh, Duracell and the University of Toronto uh, performed uh, back in the 90s.